Okay, so what I want to show you now is the mobile app that the browser company has released on iOS for Arc. So you're going to want to search for Arc Search. This is what it looks like. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm just going to open it. Oh, it's going to update. Go ahead and update it. Why not? Just like you're downloading it. Okay. And once it has loaded, we'll go ahead and open it, and I'm going to show you the power of this. All right, so let's open it now. You might be prompted to sign in. So if you come down here to the little cog, you can actually go and make sure you sync with Arc Desktops. You'll notice I've actually synced it with my account. And that's important because I can actually open up spaces if I want to. Click on Desktop here, and I've got different spaces that I can access. But here's the power of this. I'm not going to set it as the default browser. But what I am going to do is I'm going to open up this Plus. And Arc Search is best used if you're not using it like a traditional browser, similar to the way that Arc is kind of powerful in that manner. So when you go to do something, don't go to google.com Google when you're in Arc search. If you do that, then you're going to say, well, it's just a browser. Who cares, right? I go to google.com, here I am. That's not really how you use Arc search, okay? Instead, when you tap the plus, don't go to google.com. Do something instead, like let's say that you really are having trouble understanding the different types of chemical bonds. Well, type that. I need a better understanding of the four primary types of chemical bonds and interactions. Technically, there's five, I believe. I am a freshman in college. And then just hit go. And this is going to build out a website for you where it attempts to break down the different types of bonds provides you with images that you can swipe through of those bonds, gives you relevant searches and topics related to them, videos you can watch related to those bonds, additional paths you can tap to get those, and then it's going to give you additional breakdowns of these different types of bonds and the sources related to them. And here's the cool thing. You can share this if you want with someone. You can also translate it if you need to. You can go to reader mode. And it can be added to your spaces if you need to as well. See? So here I can have that added to my spaces. Um, you could do other things too. Learn about cellular respiration. And Arc Search is going to create this whole site for me about cellular respiration. It's going to give me details on glycolysis, the Krebs cycle, electron transport chain, ATP production. It's going to give me like the, the hits and the bullet points. Okay. You can even tap through to get to these different pieces here. And it will actually, when you tap through, will build out additional content on the, on the piece that you tapped through. So it's going to build a website on top of a website on top of a website as you navigate through. It's insanely useful. So that is Arc Search. Okay, we are going to move to the final piece of this instructional lecture series where I just kind of bring it all together and talk you through one last time in kind of a summary unit of what we've learned and what I hope you can now achieve using Arc Browser as a student.